I don't think I'm going to get down to the lake before it gets dark, so I've got about 15 minutes of nautical twilight left. He's not going to have much light left to play with by the time he gets to a decent shelter site, though, is he? He's got to get down. He's got to either get shelter or get a fire going. Otherwise, he's sleeping on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. that's that's no good. I'm going to head for the cedar tree and see if there's a clear spot under it. I think this is about it. And I'll build me a fire right over here. I didn't see it. What is he doing? He's sussed out our gift, He looks to actually be thinking. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antifreeze has glycerin in it. And we can use that with this potassium permanganate to make a fire. He's seen straight through it. He's seen uh, straight through it. So Matt's given Tom some flowers, which is nice, isn't it? You know, it'll make his shelter smell lovely. And when I looked at the flower food, it's got potassium permanganate on it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. This is the elixir. Combining that with a bit of glycerin, which is in antifreeze, will make a chemical fire. It's a chemical form of ignition. It's old school survival. If you combine the two in the right ratio, it creates a chemical fire. Man, is that steak. Whoa, dude, you gotta be kidding me. This was a little bit of a test of MacGyver's knowledge. Passed that one with flying colors. Nice one. See how cool that is? Just a couple of simple chemicals. And get your fire going. Man, this cat's making fire with some wizardry stuff. You know, he's out here casting fire spells and just whoosh. Yeah, that's a fire. <laughs>